Book three, chapter nine, garnering of hard times is called final. Mrs. Sparset and Mr. Bounderby quarrel because he resents her for exposing his mother. And in turn, she resents him for marrying Louisa. She tells him she's been calling his portrait a noodle. He suggests she return to Lady Skadgers. After she leaves him, Mr. Bounderby lives for five more years, long enough to become a mockery in Coketown before dying of a fit in the street. Mr. Gradgrind modifies his philosophy, making his facts and figures subservient to faith, hope, and charity. He ends up losing his seat in Parliament, and his political colleagues taunt and scorn him. The narrator calls these politicians national dustmen who have no real interest in the good of the people. Mr. Gradgrind doesn't seem to mind anyway. Rachel continues to work in the factory and is the only one of her compatriots to show mercy and compassion to a drunken beggar woman seen about town. Tom comes to regret the way he's treated Louisa and writes her a letter. He attempts to move closer to England, hoping to see her, but falls sick during the journey and dies alone. Louisa does not remarry and has no children of her own. Sissy does marry and has children who love Louisa for telling them stories. Louisa rededicates her life to helping workers and others embrace their imaginations and shows them kindness as a duty to be done. The final chapter of Hard Times serves as an epilogue revealing what happened to each of the main characters. Mrs. Sparsett's malice and spying are rewarded with her spending the rest of her days quarreling with Lady Skadgers. Mr. Bounderby endures the embarrassment of the true story of his life coming out and dies suddenly in the street. Mr. Gradgrind's dedication to higher ideals rather than mere facts implies that change in his outlook may bring him greater contentment and happiness. Tom's time abroad gives him perspective and a desire to reconcile with his sister, but some mistakes can't be undone. Louisa now finds some of the balance between reason and imagination missing from her early life, and she earns the love of Sissy's children. Sissy is rewarded for her goodness, courage, and perseverance with a family of her own. Rachel's daily life remains roughly the same. She continues to do good and keeps Stephen's memory alive by showing compassion to his former wife. Coketown needs all the compassion it can get.